Today I'm gonna to be just doing like a little glow up video, you know. Y'all see by the title. So yeah, I'm basically right now. Today is July 6th, and I'm about to just go get my eyebrows done because y'all know like they need to be tamed. So I'm about to go get my eyebrows done or whatever. And then tomorrow I'm going to get my hair done, which is July 7th. And then me and my mom, we supposed to be going to get like our toes done. I really don't want my toes done. I want my nails done instead of my toes. But yeah, we're gonna be doing that. I don't know what day we're doing that. But yeah, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social media, the description down below on the screen, and yeah. And I'm gonna just talk to y'all a little bit while, yes, throughout this video. So y'all, I'm at the eyebrow place. Hopefully, I can even get my eyebrows done, y'all, because, I don't know. Let's see. Alright, y'all, so I'm back home, or whatever. And basically, I know y'all read the title, and some of y'all already know, like, who was following me on Instagram know that I was in a relationship, but I'm just playing. Not for real though. But the reason I'm not is like, cause like, I just feel like when you ask somebody to like be your girlfriend or whatever, that means you ready to give your all. You ready to like, y'all know what a relationship means. That means you ready to give your all. That means you ready to like settle down. You done doing what you supposed to be doing. Like, I just feel like that's what that means. Basically, I just feel like when you ask somebody to be your girlfriend, that means you ready to get your all. That means you ready to stop doing what you was doing or just ready to be one with that person and really just get to know that person and, I don't know, build a good relationship. That's what it means when you ask somebody out. Because me personally, in the talking stage, I feel like we just getting to know each other to see if we even want to date each other. Then once we realize that we do, then we cut everybody else off. We start actually seriously talking. <clears throat> hanging out all day not all day but like hanging out a lot texting more talking more we really getting serious with each other then when we come to the relationship part i mean we locked down for a long time and nowadays friendships and relationship wise people do not be on no people be on some temporary stuff and i'm not with that temporary stuff like i could left you in the dms if you was gonna act like this so he didn't cheat or nothing that stupid i'm not gonna let you get the chance i don't know of. but like it was just like I just feel like we didn't take time to get, know, get to know each other because if I knew he acted like that, like just how he was, like very argumentative, if that's the word, yeah. He was very like argumentative. He was very like controlling. He was insecure. It's like if I post a picture on Instagram, he about want me, he basically want me to delete it. And I'm not with all that. Like you're not my father, my mother. You're not none of that. You're not going to tell me what I can and can't do because what me posting a picture got to do with anything. Okay, I get people, you know that a lot of people want me and a lot of people that you know want me, but that I'm not that type of girl. If I'm locked down with you and I like you, once I start liking somebody, the freaking world don't even exist no more, just that person. And he wasn't realizing that. And I'm not finna beg you to realize that I only want you. So therefore, peace out. Club Godzilla. Oh, look, I'm about to spill the drink. So yeah, basically, those of you who knew that I did have a boyfriend, that's what happened and i'm totally fine with it like i don't really care because it's like at least i know that i was doing my part and that's where like you know how like after breakups you be sad i ain't really sad it's just because i know i did my part and i know it wasn't my fault so peace out so that's really what it is i just want to tell y'all because i try to be as transparent as i can because i hate watching youtubers that don't want to let their subscribers in like that's aggravating like what's the point of putting something out if you can't explain yourself so yeah i just want to tell y'all that because i did get a few questions i was like why y'all not together and i'm like and yeah that's what happened so i'm probably not gonna get back to y'all until tomorrow when i'm getting my hair done so i'm gonna see y'all tomorrow all right y'all so hold on I know I look rough, but the wig that I'm about to get put on is from Arabella Hair, y'all. I'm going to show y'all the wig before I put it on, before I go to my hair appointment. This wig is 26 inches, so therefore y'all know it's about to be pretty long. Hold on. Therefore y'all know it's about to be pretty long. Don't mind my speaker right here, y'all, but 
Yes, ma'am. Y'all, this hair is so pretty. Look at the curl pattern, y'all. I didn't even get my hair done yet. But yeah, I'm basically going to have it in the middle part. I think it's already plugged. It looks plucked a little bit, but y'all, I don't know. But yeah, y'all, so this is the wig. Come with the little elastic band right here. The funnel looks nice. I'm sorry, I'm holding the camera really new, y'all. But y'all gonna see it when it's on my head. So I don't even gotta do too much. But yeah, y'all, so this is the hair. It looks beautiful. It's 26 inches. It may look short to y'all oh, y'all now. But when I get it done, it's gonna be so cute. So yeah, just make sure you guys keep watching so y'all can see my at The hair came with this really cute headband that I will be wearing with my outfit. I don't know what outfit I'm gonna wear, but I'm gonna wear it because it's really freaking cute. So I will be wearing it. So yeah, y'all, just stay tuned. I forgot to get back to y'all, but right now I'm under the dryer. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but I'm under the dryer. I'm so excited to get my hair installed, y'all. So good, y'all. I'm so hungry. I ain't eat all day. So good. It kind of tastes like house a little bit. Like y'all know how people house smell. That's what it kind of tastes like at the top. But I know the middle gonna be so good. It's so long. Let's see. Can't even see it. The one was fair. That's your new plan? <laughs> oh, I give up. This is useless. You're impossible to kill. It's good, Will. My hair looks so cute. What lace? The world is better. Oh, mm. wait a minute. Now I know what to do. I've been here all that time, and I would yes. just wish you and y'all. I'm leaving now, y'all. Oh, and my mom making me dry. Smokey, shut up. All right, y'all. So I know y'all probably thought I left y'all hanging yesterday, but nope. I'm ending the vlog off today with getting my nails done because that's also going to make me feel better because I haven't got my nails done so long. So this is going to make me feel better to get my nails done today. We at this place called Antique Nails. Mom, you going to get in the vlog? She don't want to get in the vlog, y'all, but yeah, so that's just gonna make me feel better today. Oh, is this one? Oh, y'all, I'm stuck. Oh, it really ain't nobody. Yeah, we're here. I'm gonna get my own feet done. Huh? Don't move. 
snake. Caitlin, get him off all. But you say you sold the snake? Yes, for 60. I want to see the snake. Hi, guys. Caitlin sold her snake. I want to my YouTube. Is it follow or is it, I mean, subscribe to my YouTube. It's going to be right there. Right she there. is so cute, ain't she? She's so cute. And the clam may help you? Uh, about uh, 30 minutes. You wait 30 minutes. Funny. Okay guys, so I just got my nails done. These are my nails. I just got stiletto and I got yellow and then I got my cuticles with diamonds on them. They're really cute. Kill says she had her. What she had to do? Hmm? What she had to do? I guess she just wants to go get a package. And I'm just sitting here.